quite a crosswind here. Right side of the wing is going to come up first. And you're going to see a dip on the left side. And the wind is almost to the back left of us. So this will be an interesting launch. We'll give it a second to maybe change just a little bit for us. I'm looking over at the uh, flag. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, here we go. All right, just like I said, the right side came up. Going right into the sun, it's pretty hard. See? As a new uh, student and you're learning, and I'm still learning, uh, one thing, when you've got some wind that uh, are a steady wind, uh, five, six, seven miles an hour, maybe a little bit more than that, uh, at least that's what it says it's supposed to be, but when you turn with the wind, you're not going to have your lift as you would as you're going into the wind. Now that sounds pretty common sense to uh, pilots and somebody that flew remote control and, and so forth. But as a new pilot, if you've never flown, and that's something you're doing. So you've got to anticipate that uh, your altitude is where you want to be because when you turn with the wind, and it's a pretty good uh, turn, or you've got a pretty good wind, that wind uh, may not let you fly because it's pushing you. And uh, you want to be careful that you don't uh, end up going into a tree or something. So we're about 600 feet. Doing about 20 miles an hour. The sky is really cleared up, but it's really cold up here. I've only got one glove on. Uh, my right hand's a little cool, but uh, not too bad. I put the glove on there, but uh, I won't be able to uh, manipulate the iPod because I don't have the touch tips on the gloves that I brought up here. I have another set that I normally wear that has the touch tips on it, so. I've got two strobes running. I've got the uh, one on the left is the, uh, the Hunter strobe. And then I've got on the right hand side, I've got the uh, Guardian Angel. The last time I uh, flew with the uh, Guardian Angel and the Hunter strobe. Uh, the Hunter, one of the lights went out on it, uh, but I contacted Chip Hunter, and uh, actually he was very, uh, uh, very helpful, and he took care of it, and he, he fixed. Uh, actually, he exchanged it, or he sent me one of the newer models. Uh, one of the model, the model that I had before, was the model that uh, would just. Uh, blink one time and this one here has kind of a flash like a strobe so it's uh, really nice they're both uh, very bright strobes the guardian angel uh, is a different type of strobe uh, almost like an emergency flasher it's, uh, very bright very quick hunter strobe has uh, uh, lights on 
all sides, a bottom, top, left, right. And, uh, very nice drill. So I uh, like both of them. I have an Abram strobe. I did turn those on. Uh, I have another strobe coming uh, pretty soon, and uh, at some point I'm going to take all the strobes that I have that I've collected over the last few years that I've been flying and put them all together and uh, do a little talk. Uh, I do not have any of the expensive strobes. Uh, some of the very expensive ones, I won't say they're very expensive, but a couple hundred dollars. I, I do not have any of those. Uh, I tried to buy something on a budget. Uh, I don't think they're budget strobes. I think they uh, work, work really well. Uh, the uh, Guardian Angel can be seen for five miles. It's been tested uh, out on the ocean, flat level ocean. They can see it for five miles. So uh, the Hunter strobe, I know that it can be seen for a long distance. These sunglasses uh, help pretty good. I've got a pair of dark goggles that may uh, be better, but uh, I'm going to wear glasses underneath or I can't see uh, anything. I can't read anything. It's about uh, 651. Sun sets around 7.15, and you can fly for another half an hour with strobes. Doing about 38 miles an hour with the wind. going to be a really pretty sunset. There's 40 miles an hour. 42, just with the wind, with the uh, trip set out at 6. David is flying up in uh, an Amish country. I was going to head up there, but it was getting a little late. So by the time I would have gotten there, it was uh, getting a little bit late to put everything together and fly. We're about 500 feet. Doing about 15 into the wind. 560 feet, 16 miles an hour. Beautiful evening, really pretty calm up here.
There's your guardian angel on the left and your hunter on the right. And I'm going to take my shades off. It's a lot lighter out here than I thought it was.